but for the constitutional principles involved. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for playing United Firefighter Association. I'll be here after to ask any other questions. That's an inappropriate question. It's not an inappropriate question. This is the thing, Dennis. I will, I will tell everyone here, I believe very strongly in um, the privacy of our medical and health information. And so my health information is, is my own information. And I would guess I would ask, Dennis, um, have you had an STD? No, I mean, no, seriously, if we're going to start talking about people's personal health information, I mean, the point is, is that no government, no, no, no okay. government, no, it's, well, you know, it's, if you listen, Bram, to the um, argument, it's funny, Judge Liberty brought up this point, in the 70s and 80s, there was, there was an outbreak, and if you accept the notion that the federal government, for public health reasons, can mandate you to do something or not do something, um, then does that mean if there was an STD outbreak or health outbreaks in the 70s and 80s, could they tell you that you, if you're a government contractor or a, uh, an employee that has a contract with the government that you can't engage in intercourse with other human beings? I mean, that literally is a question the federal judge asks. So that's not a ridiculous question. The question should be, once you allow or cede this authority to the federal government, where does it stop? And my health information is my own health information, Dennis. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Perfect. No, I got one more non-STD question. So <laughs>